So here's a uh, question on particle motion. The velocity of a particle moving along the x-axis, so it's moving left and right, from time is 0 to time is 8, is given by this function. This is the velocity function right here. Uh, they also give us this position. The position of the particle at time is 0 is equal to 5. That's going to be important later. And then we're going to answer these five questions. One is, when is the particle moving left? Then what is the particle's acceleration at t equals 1? Uh, is C is the speed of the particle increasing or decreasing at t equals 1. And find the total distance from t equals 0 to t equals 8. And find the particle's farthest distance from the origin. So let's try that. First thing I'm going to do is go to the calculator. And if you don't mind, I'm going to do this. Uh, this video was made by somebody else with different technology. I just want to update this a little bit. So if we could take a look at this, I'm going to go to um, I'm going to go to our cast. If you don't mind, uh, Dylan, if you go to insert calculator, please. This is a velocity function. So what I'd like to do is this. Type this function in, and it is. It's negative x times for your cosine, right? Open the parentheses, control. That's x over 5, x over 5 plus 1 quantity minus 2. And then what I'm going to do is this. I'm just going to store this because if you store it, you can use it a 100 different ways. So I'm just going to go ahead and store this by hitting control STO, control store. And because this is a velocity function, just to make myself happy, I'm going to call this V of X, if you don't mind, V of X. V of X. Is that all right? A minute stored. This is going to be really helpful in just a minute. So let's take a look at this as a graph. So doing nothing but what we've already done. If you don't mind, go back to your home page you know, and hit um, insert calculator. Uh, insert graphs? Sure. And all I want you to do now, Bill, um, Bill, let's type in V of X. And it shows it in bold, doesn't it? So it recognizes that it's there. Hit enter. This function looks pretty much like what I thought it was going to look like. We're only interested in this function from time is 0 to time is 8. Isn't that right? So I think what I'm going to do is, if you don't mind, I'm going to go and check. I'm going to adjust the window. So if you go to your, if you go to your menu and go to Windows, Go to window setting. You guys with me? And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it to from 0 to 8. I'll put 0 to 8. The other thing that I did, if you're here, it'll actually make its own scale, whatever makes it fit the best on the calculator, but I don't want to do that because all of the things that are being asked of me are expressing integers. I'm going to make this x scale equal to 1. And then I'm just going to hit OK. So there's our function. So here's our function right here. Now, this is what I'm, I'm asking you. It says, the first question is, when is the particle moving left? So when is it moving left? I guess, where is it moving left? Yeah, whenever the, yeah, every time that the height is negative, it means we have negative velocity. That means this thing is moving left, doesn't it? The question is, what's this point right here? And it looks like it's the point 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, but it's not perfectly 5. And because you're going to be taking the AP exam, or you're going to be taking, uh, you're going to have an exam on this in college, you have to be really careful about this. So it's really easy. If you go to your menu, hit Analyze Graph, and just hit Intersection. Oh, Intersection. So hit, it's, oh, I don't want that. I take it back. Analyze graph. I want the zero, don't I? So the lower bound, to find the, where it says lower bound, it wants an x value lower than where you think the intersection is. So as a picture, it's somewhere over here, isn't it? And now it says upper bound someplace to the right of that. So 4.94. So how are we going to answer question, how are we going to answer question A? We'll go back to our question. Bring down a screen here. Let's redraw the function. And the function looks like this, doesn't it? 
And from 0 to 8, it looks like this, doesn't it? Maybe something like that. Remember that this is, what's this point right here? Yeah, point four point nine four zero, right? And that's this zero is the velocity. It has a velocity of zero at this point. Everywhere from there to here, right? So if I was taking the AP exam, this is what I'd, I'd just be marking this in like this. Be like, you know what? I would find some way to show this on my calcu on my paper. I'd redraw this, right? And then I'd write this as a compound inequality. So the particle is moving left where, where what? T is what? Less than 4.94 and yeah, greater than zero. Right? Is that all right? So, and what that says is that for the first however many seconds. We're moving, we're moving left, aren't we? Okay, so the next question is, is, what is the particle's acceleration? So go back to the graph, right? Go back to the graph. It says, what's the particle ex particle's acceleration here? There are two ways to do this. I'll show you both ways really quick. One is this. Uh, go back to analyze your graph. Analyze the graph. It says, what's its, what's its acceleration? At t equals 1, well, remember, acceleration is the first derivative of velocity, right? So what I'm going to do is take this. And then, Dylan, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this over, to line it up on 1 the best that I can. So negative 1.72, that's actually not the perfect answer. It's off by a little bit because I didn't drop this perfectly. But what you could do, Dylan, was this. You could go back up here to insert calculator because we already have v of x in it, don't we? Go to calculus, derivative at a point, variable is x and its value is 1, so the value is 1 here. Hit OK. And we're going to put in what here? V of x. That's a horrible answer, isn't it? Remember when you get these horrible answers, go back and hit Control Enter again. So its acceleration is negative. can look at it here also. We can see this, but if we just draw a line in here, it can also work this way. It's acceleration, look. We take a tangent line. We know it has negative acceleration here, doesn't, doesn't it? By the tangent line. <coughs> so your support for that answer would be this. So for part B, says the acceleration, this is acceleration, the acceleration is equal to negative 0.176, right? Your support would be here, V prime at 1 equals negative 0.176. But you can't just say I use my calculator to, to offer your solution up, so it has to be based on something more than that. So question C. Question C is, is the speed of the particle increasing or decreasing? How will we figure that out? Well, at, at t equals 1, what's the velocity, positive or negative? So the velocity is negative. What about the acceleration? 
is also negative. <clears throat> that means we're going left. Acceleration is negative. Therefore, the speed is actually increasing. And this would be your justification for why that's true. Yeah? All right. Ready for the next part? Take a look at it. Find the total distance. How would you find the total distance? But we don't have points. We only have a, a graph of velocity. We only know how fast we're going. Isn't velocity, I'm sorry, isn't distance velocity times time? Kind of like base times height in the case of the graph that we've been looking at, isn't it? So we can take the integral of that. So you can go back to your function. And you can take the integral here. So you can go back to calculus. I'm sorry, go back to analyze graphs and take the integral from here, from here. Where? Somebody tell me why I'm stopping right here. What does it say the distance is here? It says the distance here is negative, isn't it? Is the distance negative? No, but this, count, this doesn't know we're taking distance, does it? So we want the absolute value of that, don't we? But if I go from here, Zach, from here all the way over to here, it's going to give me this negative value plus this positive value, and it's going to make the distance different because this is the distance to the left, but then it comes back to the right, doesn't it? So I have to take the integral twice here. So what I'll do is, just again, I'll analyze this again. I'll take the integral here, and this time, from here, to here. It's a little bit short, isn't it? Is that all right? So what's the distance? The distance is the absolute value of this, isn't it? Right, well this is the absolute value of this, because this is one distance, plus the absolute value of this. So we have 8.82 plus 7.08 is equal to what? 1580? Is that right? It has a total distance of 1580. The distance equals 1580. So how would you, oh, good job. Thank you very much. Good job, seriously, good job. So 1590. So how I would support that is I would say this. For my answer, I'd support it by saying it's the integral from 0 to 4.94, sorry, of v of t dt, right? That's base times height here, isn't it? But it's going to give us, it's going to come up negative, so we're going to take the opposite of it, right? Plus the integral from 4.94 to what? To what? It is 8, right? To 8 of or, how else could you say it? Well, how do we do this? How do we come up with this one? Exactly. You could say 0 to 8 of the absolute value v of t dt. Is that all right? All right. Let's try this last part, shall we? The last part is this. You have to remember the numbers that we just had, right? The last question is find the farthest distance. So find the farthest distance. Distance from what? From the origin, right? But look at this for a second. We start, our particle starts here at 5, doesn't it? And for the first 4.94 seconds, what happens? Or for the first 4.94, whatever the unit of measure, it goes to the left. And how far does it go to the left? What's this distance? 
from here to here, what's this distance? It's not five, look on your thing. It's negative 8.82, right? So if you went, if you started at positive five and you went negative 8.82, what would this point be right here that you, got, you finally got to? What? Plus five is what? Negative 3.82, right? And then after that, which way do you go? You go to the right. How far to the right? 7.08. So the distance from here to here is 7.08. Well, where does that land you? That lands you here, doesn't it? What is that? 3.26, is that right? 3.26. So when are you farthest from the... When are you farthest from the origin? Is it here? Here you're 3.82 from the origin. Here you're 3.26 from the origin. Here you're, you're 5 from the origin. So where are you, when are you farthest from the origin? Not, 5 is as far as you are, but at what time are you at 5? Yeah, at t equals 0. So at t equals 0... Your farthest from the origin. And what would your supporting details look like? Well, it would look like this. Right? I guess here I'd put start point. Right? All right. So I think we answered all of it. I wonder how it's going to.